The second episode had the first equi- mm, Sorry, 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 sorry. You may have wondered why they're making the chefs cook with those bitter literal- Oh my God, they're annoying. <clears throat> We're gonna do it one more time. Sorry, one more time. Mm, can we start like halfway? The second episode had the first official quick fire of the season. The chefs got an education in something Wisconsin is famous for. It's beer. But while cooking with beer is amazing, it's far too easy for Top Chef. So instead, we asked the chefs to create a dish using beer's key ingredient, hops. And your time starts now. Oh. Hi. Hey. What's up? They smell delicious, they taste horrible. But the flavor profile is oregano, so I'm just thinking, I'm gonna make something with chimichurri and like, just to kind of like, whatever happens, happens. Say where my tongue's at, but I'm right here. <laughs> ah! This is like a really good amount of time for you, right? Uh, yes. Today, Top Chef All-Star and beer aficionado Amar Santana will be here to show us we can do more with hops than just make beer. Well, I will do the best part first, taste beer. <laughs> This is The Dish with Kish. Beer aficionado, Amar Santana. Are you really? Do you I consider am. yourself I one? I love beer, Do you, you know me, beer you know me too time? well. Hi. Oh, there you go. Nice Good to, to see, see you. you. So cooking with hops is something you don't see very often because it's not actually delicious. Well, there's no reason why to cook with hops <laughs> in the first place unless you're competing on Top Chef. Yeah. And, and that's what I love about being on Top Chef. It makes you think outside the box. What are you making, bro? Yeah, so I'm gonna do a little fig jam on the toast. I'm gonna sear some foie gras, some duck breast, and then I'm gonna do a balsamic truffle glaze on top. It's a very risky move to go so rich and heavy and decadent, but it's the way that I like to eat and the ingredients that I like to cook. Damn, Amar. You're a beast. I know. I have never sat down in my restaurant and let, let me write a menu and think of using hops in any of my recipes. Yeah. I drink a lot of hops. <laughs> Beer all has this underlying, like, bitter quality to it, yep. which comes from Which comes from hops. Yes. It's really, really hard to use it in, in, in cooking. The quick fire, so they all made these dishes and some were so hop forward that it was unpleasant and yeah. some they were just trying to bury it where then you couldn't taste it at all. I think you said it right, it's, it's finding the balance. Michelle, I thought the earthiness of the beef with the bitterness of the hop, I thought that was a really smart dish and really delicious. And the sauce with that strawberry, just that combination alone yeah. was a really great way to highlight the hops. Thank you. Laura, the rice pudding, I thought it was really smart. The balance of fat and sweet with it, with the hops was a really, really good way of using, you know, fat to infuse that flavor. Thank you. If it's gonna be bitter, you have to make it this when you're gonna have some sugar, some sweetness to it. And I think doing something braised with some hops and some beer together, maybe use that liquid as part of the sauce too. So I'm gonna do like a hop braised pork belly. Okay. And then I'm gonna make a sauce with some cherry vinegar, some sugar, uh, beer, hops, and I'm gonna do a parsnip and a banana puree to kind of have the sweetness to kind of oh. balance the bitterness. And then like a little crunch of some banana chips and cocoa nips. I see where you're crunch, going. I see crunch. where you're you going. You know, I'm thinking Top Chef, you know, <laughs> you kind of want to hit all the taste buds. It's gonna be a bit of a challenge, but uh, that's, what we, that's what we're here for. That's why you're a Top Chef all-star, Mark. <laughs> okay, let's start cooking. Can I offer you some Saratoga spring water? Absolutely. Okay. So we have pork belly with the skin on because yep. really that is the only it's the way you should be buying pork, pork belly. I see parsnips here, which you mentioned, garlic, heavy cream for the puree, I assume, and then pressure cooker here. My very first time using a pressure cooker was on Top Chef, and I hated it. All right, Kish, what the hell are we doing? Is that too much water for a pressure cooker? That's gonna explode. I'm having a problem. <laughs> we know. They're terrifying. It's risky. How many beers would you like? Probably two. Okay. Let's see. Do we have some uh, <laughs> onion, celery, and like one apple? Yeah. There there's, we go real quick. Yeah, there's no rules. Take this for the road. Trying to get me drunk early, huh? Yep. Perfect. And a uh, little honey. Honey's out for you. Oh. Okay, perfect. Do you remember your first quick fire? It was a team quick fire challenge at the very beginning. I had some chicken, and I got this Asian slaw. Right away, I thought of making a sweet and sour sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what we want right there. Yeah, Mar. And we won. You won? Yep.
We came smack dab in the middle, and we had to like collaborate on Pacific Northwest seafood. We chose gooey duck, because uh -huh. you could eat it raw. Gooey duck is great, except it looks like a penis, a really big one. We were in the middle, which was fine, which is kind of all you really hope for on your first day, is just to like, be safe. I remember we were all standing there when given the, uh, the assignment of what to cook. She said, okay, you, your time starts now. Yeah. And nobody moved. And Padma was like, excuse me, have you seen the show? And they're like, yes. It's like, I thought we were gonna like sit down, they're gonna go through everything. And this is what I tell people, when say go, you go. The reason why I love doing the show and being part of the Top Chef family is because it's probably the only cooking show that is real. Well, they oh, say it's two real. hours, it's two hours. So I was like, yeah. I say, you know, you could cut yourself. They don't stop for you. Yep. You know, bad luck for you. What do you want me to do with these? Uh, this, we're gonna put them in a pot with garlic oh. and, uh, and cream. I'm gonna put some apples in there. I'm gonna add a little honey to it as well. So offsetting any place you can, the bitterness of the hops. All right, of flour. Okay. And then the best part, this <laughs> beer. And then while we're waiting, here's some some beer snacks. Oh, here we go. Yeah. So we have something to, to snack on. So I have a question about pressure cookers since you are more experienced than I am. How do you decide how much liquid needs to be in there? So here you have, what is this? There's like a line, half? Yeah, so it's like halfway. Probably like two inches above the protein that you like you cook okay. Yeah, so now we're just gonna let it go for like okay. 45 minutes. If you never had hops like this before, the few eat it, if you try it, it tastes like dry beer. Mm -mm. Um, no, no, no. No? No, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> mm. But it does taste like a dry beer. Maybe dry beer never caught on for a reason, huh? <laughs> Is that it? Here, we have a dry beer powder for you. <laughs> so adding bananas into the cream, parsnip, and garlic. So I'm gonna let it cook everything together. Sky, do you have that beer flight? I'll go get the beer flight. Oh, yeah. really? It's, it's your show now. Dish with the mar. Four different kinds of beer. What kind of food applications would you use each beer for? With a wheat beer, because it's the most creamy, lighter. It's something you probably could use for dessert. Lager would be something like what we use for the pork belly. A little bit of hoppiness. Hoppiness. Hoppiness? <laughs> hoppiness. <laughs> <Ew. laughs> this is so horrible. <laughs> the, the red ale, to me, is more on the sweeter side, too. Maybe you could use that to maybe like steam some fish. And the style for like a nice braised short rib for beef cheek. This one really makes me think of Dessert, the really Yeah, like the chocolate too. or something. I feel like cooking. <laughs> Cook something. I feel like I should something. do something. Come on. I'm gonna be right back. I don't actually know what I'm doing. Hello. Hi. Do you have some dark chocolate? I do. Some heavy cream? I do. Chocolate. Um, what else is speaking to you? I don't know what you're doing. I don't know either. We're I, just vibing? We're just vibing. Okay, cool. Yep. Um, well, I kind of know I'm gonna make like a thing and then chill oh. it and then whip it like mm -hmm. with the with the stout. Oh, I see you know what, what you're I'm saying. Doing. I you know see what, I'm what you're doing. I love this idea. I love a guys. chocolate mousse. I'm gonna go ahead and puree the the parsnip and banana puree. Okay. Just putting everything in a blender. a little loud, but. <laughs> so in here I have heavy cream, the stout, fresh vanilla, hops. You know what I like about this? It's drinking and cooking at the same time. <laughs> it's kind of like a normal day in the kitchen, right? <laughs> Is it? Well, so I have the parsnip and the banana puree for the pork belly. I'm just gonna do a little crumble just for some nice crunch. And I'll use the same crunch onto this. Yeah. So now I'm just gonna completely chill so then we can whip it. All right. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. 30 minutes, this yep. is like tender, tender. Tender, tender, tender. And the apple not only adds sweetness, but- Also give texture to the sauce. Texture and also tenderizes. Yep. So now we're gonna take this bracing liquid and reduce it down.
Before you went on Top Chef, yeah. did you ask anybody for like advice, any former contestant or anybody? I didn't. You didn't? Uh, one, I was terrified because they're like, don't tell anybody you're going. And I was like, okay. Yeah, they scare the crap out of you. It's like secret service stuff. Yes. <laughs> I need. This is what I'm talking about. Try this. How you taste the bitterness, but it's not overpowering or overwhelming. It's right in the back. Yeah. It's like the perfect kind of, yeah. of, of bitter. And this is almost ready to right. the consistency that I want the sauce. Oh, look at, look at this pork belly. Look at this. Oh, oh that God. looks nice. Now we're just gonna glaze this little piece of. Don't look yet. So it's nice and oh, nice. whipped. And then we're gonna fold in our beer snacks and the banana. Those are the things that Top Chef makes you do, to come up with different techniques and do things that fast. I mean, you sit in the restaurant sometimes, like, I cannot make a dessert in 30 minutes, you crazy? And then you do. And then you do, when you're Top Chef, you have no choice. <laughs> oh, Look that at the looks sauce. nice. So do you think as you reduce it, the sweetness is gonna come out more? The sweetness and then the is gonna come out more, so is the bitterness. Can I taste? Oh, yum. So I always tell my cooks, you know, play the food the way you want the guests to eat it without you telling them what to do. If you want to try the whole dish on its own, just plate everything, then you will get a whole bite all at once together. Mm -hmm. So tie everything together and giving it more hoppiness. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use a little bit of this hop salt. And that is just, just hops. Just ground up hops with a little bit of sea salt. So you have oh, I like, I like the bar color. snack and beer at the same time. You miss this, don't you, huh? <laughs> Five, see four, the three, no, 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 two. <laughs> Here's your beauty plate. Thank you. You're welcome. I love that for all of us. Thank yeah. you, chefs. Kristen, I called you chef. I don't like when she calls me chef. That's weird. Why not? Did your best friend call you chef? <laughs> I just feel a little frisky. <laughs> yeah. No comment. <laughs> Thank you. So we have uh, hops and beer braised pork belly with a parsnip banana puree. The braising liquid with honey, beer, hops, uh, some apple there. Let's see if this works for Top Chef. It's gonna work beautifully. Mmm. The puree with banana. Never in a million years would I have ever, ever done that. And leave it on that, so it makes it. It, it, it does make it. Yeah, because see, the pork belly by itself with the sauce, if you had it like that, it's mm -hmm. bitter. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice. Everything was about adding sweet yes. to the bitter. Creating, it was creating really, a nice, really balance. nice Beautiful yeah. balance. It's Get a little bit of yogurt. <laughs> it's bitter. <laughs> it's hops. Yeah. And so, mm -hmm. we're also, I guess accentuating the bitterness in the dark chocolate with the hops and the stout. Yeah, yeah. I would like some like caramelized pears with this. Listen, Mar Amar, I didn't have time. Okay. I did okay, not have time, Amar. No, but this Can is I have some caramelized pears. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next week is all about another Wisconsin delicacy. Marcel, Vigneron, and I will see you then. And cut. Thank you, Tom. Right this way. Moving on. Recess the kitchen, please.